Uh, welcome to your 31st tutorial. Um, I understand a lot of you guys are having that gray grid problem that I was afraid of, but that's cool because, you know, everyone has that problem. And it's no, no big thing, you know. But uh, today we're going to try and solve that. Just go through some things that you want to check. Make sure uh, to get your maps working. And we're also going to learn about the debug. Um, the debug API key that we can use. Now I'm trying to figure out what I want want to do first. Okay, probably the first thing you want to check is you want to open up your emulator that apparently has maps on it. And you just want to make sure that it's connecting to the internet. You can do that with this like search bar right there. Just click something and then you know type it in and search it. And this will just make sure the internet's working on your emulator. Otherwise you're gonna to have to set up a new emulator um, to get the internet working on there. I just searched corn boys and yeah, see, it looks like Google's doesn't know too much about me because they're like, oh man, you're, you're spelling it wrong. Corner boys, what is that? All right, and then the next thing we want to go into the Android manifest. We're just going to check those permissions. And I'm just going to drag this one down because, oh, actually, oh, never mind. I'll just leave it there. All right, the key thing is you want to have your permission for the internet the whole powerful internet right outside of your application um, brackets or whatever section. Here's your app applications. You want your permissions right outside there and you want one for the internet because we're using Google Maps. The other thing you want to do is you want to have the use library inside of your application um, just right inside but outside of your first activity. So use library again name Google I mean com.google.android.maps so you want to make sure that's set up bam and then most likely you guys are getting that gray grid hopefully by this point um, if you're getting an error and your force closed that's going to be a bummer but uh, we're going to try and just use the basically the debugging um, like I said the debugging API key that we can uh, use for application just to like mess around with it when you guys put your app on the marketplace, you're going to have to, you know, obtain that key the way I showed you guys in a couple of tutorials ago. But just so we can get things working here, we're going to um, just follow this right here. This is going to be the path uh, that we're going to be using instead of that um, other path we did the past tutorials when we signed our application and all that good stuff. So we're going to kind of follow this and we're going to sign up for a new. Um, you know, whatever permission that we can use Google Maps. All right, so what do we have to do first? Again, command prompt. Bam. And then we have to go to our Java directory, just like last time, uh, to get to um, that tool key, little sweet thing there. So, oh no, man. All right. Well, I tried to be all slick and like copy and paste it from earlier, but you know, that didn't work out so well. This is where my directory is. Again, you want to go into the bin directory of your JRE um, that you downloaded. I'm just going to hit again CD and then uh, paste. And then now we're in that one folder where we can use the tool key. And now we can go back to this. Oh man, I can't speak. Cutting that out. All right. And then we want to go back to this website. This is going to tell us what we need to type in. So we're just going to follow along. Real nice and simple. So you want to do tool or key tool. Again, list. And most likely if you guys were getting the gray grid, you may have typed something incorrectly. I did that a few times and I was getting frustrated, but I eventually just typed it right once and as as an awe because my program was working. But yeah, you probably, when you're signing your application, you may want to make sure that it does um, it does work before you put it on the marketplace. Again, this debug key won't work for when you put your app on the marketplace, but it's just so you can use it on every project you create with Google Maps. You can use the same ones that uh, the same debug key so you don't have to go through this whole process every time 
and then just finalize it once you're done. But um, again, we're just going to follow along. It says uh, key store, and then it says path to debug key store. Um, and again, it shows you right here uh, where where they put this when you downloaded the Android SDK. We're just going to make sure. Um, I'm just going to kind of follow along and show you guys uh, where mine is, even though it shows it right there. I'm on Vista, so I'm going to follow that one. It's, it says in C. And then it says in user, Travis, um, Android 1. And you probably want to just make sure it's in there. And here it is, uh, debug key store. So we got we got it in there. That's where mine is. So I'm just going to probably copy. Well, I'm going to copy this because mine isn't labeled user. And then just hit... Uh, And print or in quotations again, and mine was in the Travis, and then we're just going to copy this too and paste into quotations, and that should get us to get our debug. And then they set up the password and uh, the key pass as Android, so we just have to type that in as well. Hopefully this will get you guys some Google Maps if, if you had that gray screen because like everyone has a problem with that or something. I, I mean I even did when I was trying to figure it out. But um so we're just gonna hit enter and then again we get our uh you know our little MD5. So we're gonna go over to our other website and we're gonna type it in. And you also don't I mean you don't have to put those like little whatever they are. I feel like an idiot. Those dots on top of themselves. You know what I'm talking about? These things. So you don't have to put that in when you sign up for your key. But I'm just probably going to clip the video. Alright. So again, here's mine. Uh, your guys' will be different. Um, but we're just going to generate the API key. And again, it's right here. So we want to um, copy this and test it out again. Oh, problems. I don't like problems. All right, so we're going to go into our main XML. And again, you should have this from last time if you guys were following along. If not, you guys might want to go back a couple of videos. But as you can see, it's still the same as the one I just, I just obtained because this one's not going to change for me. Uh, because it's just the debug key for my computer that I can use. And then I'm just going to hit save and um, again run this uh, run this to make sure it works. And hopefully it will work for your guy, you guys too. So sorry I've been slack on the videos too. It's been like I've been so busy. It's really pissing me off. But um, I'm going to keep making more videos. Hopefully I'll have a few days off here from work soon and I can just knock out like four or five videos in a couple days or something like that. But Alright. And it looks like it's working. So again, um, that's just if you got the gray squares. Hopefully you got that problem fixed by using the debug. Again, thanks for watching, guys, uh, and subscribing. Hope that helps solve some problems. Um, but, again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.